请各位来以热烈的掌声欢迎，来到市里安华先生的到来。Siapa peduli apa gerakan cakap? Ada you dengar ke gerakan di Pedri Pu? Dan Tan Sri Kau Suku tu kawan saya Dia orang baik Tapi dia Baik je Tak boleh buat tu Gross injustices Abuse of power Discriminatory policies, insulting other races, dehumanizing to an extent. Itu yang kita nampak. Soal soal Joe Benghok sudah dah tahu, Kugan sudah dah tahu. Sekarang pula kepala lembu. Give the message. Sebab tu saya kata ada orang Cina, India dewari. Saya kata no, this is not 
If you want to challenge, question the right of any citizen of this country, Malay, Chinese or Indian, we will all stand together. I promise you, we will be there with you. Karena ambil kesempatan nak kata oh ini, you boleh bully some Indians kerana Indians are minority and some of them are quite gullible. Just because they are the minority, you must appreciate the fact the minority must be defended. We cannot have a tyranny of the majority. We must have justice for all. Sudah, I'm Martin Luther King, and now Barack Hussein Obama. Remember, Barack Hussein Obama, <laughs> President of the United States of America. Three days back, he organized a big Majlis Buka Puasa, the White House, respecting the Muslims, the Christians, the Jews, as equal citizens of the country. I want to reiterate the point. Sebab pimpinan AMNO khususnya Timbalan Perdana Menteri Muhyiddin Yassin panggil saya anti Malay, traitor to the Malays, kianat Melayu. Sudah fikir saya perlu jawab, tak perlu jawab. Yeah. Sebab sudah tanya saya dasar bahasa I'm very clear. I will not sacrifice the position of Bahasa Melayu sebagai Bahasa Rasmi. Tapi this is 2009. The polemic, the discourse is different. In the 50s and 60s, the Malays were worried the Chinese may not accept Malay as an official language. The Chinese are worried because they feel that there is no future for the Chinese language if you proceed with that sort of a Malay language policy. Now, no Chinese would question the importance of Bahasa as a national language. <laughs> now, kalau China tak soal kedudukan Bahasa Melayu sebagai Bahasa Rasmi, mengapa orang Melayu harus bertikai hak orang China belajar dan angkat kedudukan Bahasa China? Beyond that, yang saya nak tekankan, more important, Bahasa China in 1950s, Bahasa China 2009, jauh berbeza. Bahasa China sekarang is an important economic language of the region and the world. It's better for the Chinese to learn and Malays to learn Chinese at the same time. What they say now, Anwar dah dapat sokongan XMCA sebab tu dia sebut Chinese is important. You are completely ignorant. The problem with us is that we have ministers of education and the so-called UMNO leaders who are actually semi-literate. Dia tak faham. Soal bahasa kita tak kompromi. Tetapi bahasa Cina penting. Anak saya sudah tahu Nur Izzah belajar masa di buat masters di Amerika. Bila orang tanya dia, second language yang most popular size, one of the premier universities in Washington DC and the United States. Tanya dia, English? Pass. Bahasa Melayu Indonesia? Pass. Second language, most popular in the United States. Ada the Spanish and kind of Spanish. Ramai yang di situ. Chinese. You think the Americans love China? No. They are the economic imperative. You belajar, you want to. Kalau anak saya pandai bahasa Melayu, very good. Pandai bahasa Inggeris, very good. Nak satu lagi bahasa, saya kata bahasa Cina. Very important for your future. Not because you are in Malaysia, but because this is a stark reality. The sooner the UMNO leaders learn, the better. But they will never learn. That's why we have to pull them down and take over this country. Islam Islam ini tak ada makna Kalau dia tidak promote keamanan Religion ini apa dia? Tujuan agama You baca Confucius, you baca Christianity 
You baca Hinduism, you baca Buddhism. Ideal agama apa? Promote peace, tranquility in the self, aman dalam jiwa. You kena all this precious dunia, nothing because you are the spiritual strength. Believe, I believe in Allah, kita believe in God.